Hey all my Pisces friends and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you who are a subscriber to my channel, thank you for your continuous support. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. We'll get started here right away. I'm going to tip you on down so you guys can watch the shuffle here. Okay, I hope I didn't go too far. All right. So, Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have in love for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 28th through September 3rd? All right. Hmm. All right. So, um, for this group of you, you are closed off. You are um, not allowing your emotions to um, come to the surface. You're thinking about somebody else that you, um, yeah, that you sneak off in the night with. Um, you're not happy where you're at, Pisces. Um, this cup right here that they're thinking about, um, that's the same person that you're sneaking away with. Either they are with somebody else or you are. You're also thinking about somebody that stole your heart. Um, and you're in separation from them right now. Um, you can't quit thinking about them. Queen of Swords in reverse. So, um, yeah, you are coming out of a time of... Uh, you were trying really hard to keep them out of your heart, to keep them out of your headspace, but you couldn't do it. You were, you were uh, attempting to... This is an ultimatum to me. Like, either end it with whoever else or I'm gone and yeah it's not working you can't get your mind off this person seven of wands in reverse yep they you tried to put up a wall um you tried to keep them out and the wall has come down <laughs> with the seven of wands so um this is somebody that you uh this relationship at one point in time was very successful. It provided both of you um, all your wants, needs, desires, and you can't figure out why uh, one day they just up and left. So you tried very hard to be cold, to put up your uh, to put up your wall, but this person, you just can't help it with this person, Princess of Wands. So yeah, uh, very um, could be dealing with a fire sign, but. This person is very, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, oh, very alluring. Like you're very drawn to them, but they also add fuel to the fire. They also, um, they make you, when they walk into a room, you just, you get the butterflies, you get flush, you're all of a sudden you're, you're hot and, um, you don't know what to say. They, I can't think of the word of what I'm thinking of either. What my angels are showing me and what I'm trying to put into words just is not connecting. And that could be happening with you guys too. You just can't find the words to say to them. You have the King of Pentacles here as well. Um, this person is very, um, grounded, very family orient oriented. Um, they, they provide, they take their responsibilities seriously. And that's why they're having a hard time walking away from this person, um, or walking away from the person that they're with. Uh, I do see that for you, Pisces, you are the third party, um, to someone else's relationship. Um, could be a air sign, female married to a uh, earth sign male, but, um, yeah, with this King of Pentacles, um, he's having a hard time walking away from his responsibilities, um, that he feels that he would be abandoning his family if he left and went with you, even though he wants to be with you. Um, even though you've tried to keep your heart out of it, you tried to put the wall up, you couldn't help, but, but you couldn't help, but be the third party because they light a fire in you. 
but um, they're having a hard time leaving their um, other person. The devil is here also in reverse. So you're, you're breaking away from the toxicity of this relationship. You are putting your foot down. You're saying, um, not today, devil. You are no longer going to be the third party um, to this person. Um, you are going to set out on your own venture in your own time and uh, see what else is out there. See what else the world has to offer because you're tired of being the secret. You're tired of having to sneak around to see this person. Um, so you're, you're really working hard on yourself. You're throwing yourself into work. Um, and you're getting shit done. Uh, this new beginning for you is very exciting. Uh, yeah, you're actually, you're actually to a place where you're okay. If this person doesn't come with, um, for the longest time, you were worried to throw that ultimatum out there because you were worried they weren't going to come with you, but now you, uh, put it out there and you mean it. You're going to be okay if you set out on your own and you finally believe that you finally feel that you're finally breaking free from this toxic, um, thought of, I need them. I can't go on without them. Um, and it's, um, it's going to allow you to, to work on yourself. Um, the nine of cups is here in reverse. So, um, you, you feel like your prayers aren't being answered, but really they are. Because when you do this, when you take a stand and you step forward um, with that new sense of adventure, that new, um, I'm going to make something of this, then this card will turn around and your your uh, prayers will be answered. Your wishes will come true. Um, but you're being called to move forward, um, whether it be on your own or, or with somebody, you're going to... Um, you're going to move forward. Uh, it's first calling for you to uh, try to see this from every side. Try to take a different perspective because right now it's black and white. Either you're with me or you're not. To where um, it's it's not being really fair to that person who has to tie up loose ends with the their um, their family, um, their spouse, their partner, whatever situation they're in. Because they are working on it. They are trying to leave this person. But the person that they are with right now is very controlling as well. Seven of Pentacles. Yep. Your last card. It's just, to, it's time to be patient. Take a rest. Take a step back. It's not always black and white. Um, you've planted your seed. Um, now just step back, rest, and allow your blessings to come to fruition. Um, because they're going to. It's just calling, Spirit is calling for you guys to have a little bit of patience this week because it's so close to that point. Um, because ultimately, I see for the majority of you Pisces, when you give that ultimatum and you actually do start moving forward, it's going to push them into panic mode and you're going to, they're going to move forward towards you. And um, so it's actually going to benefit you. And look at the two cards that fell out. So let go of control issues. Like I said, it's not always black and white. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Be patient because it is coming. They are working towards it. The angels are working towards it as well, getting your person in your path. Um, so allow this to unfold naturally, but move forward. Don't be stuck. Don't be stagnant. If you stand still for too long, you become planted and stagnant, and that's no good. So move forward. Um you know, start working on your, or not start working. Cause I see you guys are working on yourself, but continue to work on yourself. Um, and, and let this person know that you're moving on with or without them. Um, when they're ready for you, uh, you know, get a hold of you. If you're still available, maybe then you can try something. If you're taken by then, then they're lost. And I guarantee you, they're going to move forward, um, towards you. This situation also involves marriage. For one, they are trying to get out of a marriage to be with you. For two, this will eventually lead to um, to a uh, committed relationship um, between the two of you. So just be patient. Take a rest. Take a step back. Let go of control issues because um, 
It's, it's not the easiest getting out of that relationship for them, but have faith that they are moving towards you because um, you are the one that they want to have a relationship with. So Pisces this week is just a week of um, taking a step back, relaxing, allowing your blessings to come to you and just let go of those control issues. And, uh, and you're going to ascend into a higher level of relationship very quickly. So I hope you guys have a beautiful week. As always, I send you love, light, and may God bless your path.